Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Preller here with your guided reading lesson of the day. The title of today's book is What Lives Here? The author is R.K. Burris, and the illustrator is Cindy Hill. Um, so that means the author wrote the story and the illustrator drew the pictures. Okay, boys and girls, before we can start reading, we need to go over our learning target for the book, What Lives Here? Now, our learning target today is I can visualize what the story is about. That important word in our target is the word visualize. Visualize means to make a picture in your brain and to connect what you know already to what you think you're going to be learning about. So we're going to take a look at the cover of our book and based on what we see on the cover, what do we think that story is going to be about? Well, over here I see a bear, here I see a deer, I see a frog, I see a fish. So if I'm visualizing what the story is about and I hear the title, What Lives Here, I'm picturing where these animals live. So I'm picturing maybe the bear living in a cave because my background knowledge, what I already know, is bears like to live in caves. I'm picturing maybe a frog on a lily pad, the fish in the water, the deer. Oh, we learned about deer live um, under trees in bushes. We learned that during our tree unit. So I have background knowledge that's going to help me be a better reader because it's going to help me think about what I'm reading. So the word I want you to think about today is home. Okay, for people, our homes are houses, but that's not the case for animals. Animals live in nature. Now, there are some important words that we're going to need to know to be able to read this book. The first important word is the word A. And you might already know that sight word in a snap. That sight word is A, like have A good day. The other sight word you're going to be reading in this book is the sight word here. Like, please come here. Here is spelled H-E-R-E. -E. That word is here. Let's play touch the sight word. When I read the word out loud, I want you to point to it with your finger. Are you ready? A. Good. Here. Did you find it? Here. Good job. A. Good. Here. Great job. So those are the two words we need to know, A and here. Now, our book follows a pattern, and the pattern goes like this. A, hmm, lives here. Read it with me. A, hmm, lives here. Now, if our target is to visualize, we are going to be using that picture to help us with that missing word. We're going to check the picture to figure out what animal lives here. Are you ready to get started? Okay, boys and girls, let's get reading. Again, the title is What Lives Here? You try reading. This is our title page. Our title page has the title and the author one more time, and we're going to read it again. What lives here? I notice that they have a question mark because they're asking what lives here. Okay, so remember, our target is to visualize. This is the only page that breaks the pattern that I showed you earlier. We can see that there's less words. This Now, looking at the picture, visualizing, I don't see just one animal. I see many animals. I see frogs, I see fish, I see deer, I see bear, I see birds up there. I'm noticing this is the same picture from our cover. So this word must say, eh, animals live here. And don't forget, we can use our other good reader strategies like cross-checking the picture with the beginning sound. And I see that A for a, a, animals. Animals live here. You read. Good job. Now I see that pattern. A hmm, lives here. Now let's visualize. Let's look at our picture. Oh, remember when I made that prediction that I said bears live in a cave? Looks like my prediction was right. Let's read. A bear lives here. You read. Good job. Why don't you try this page? Remember, visualize what this page is about. 
Did you read A Deer Lives Here? If you did, great job. Okay, visualize where are we? Did you read a fish lives here? If you're not sure about the word, remember, use that beginning sound to help you. Look at the picture. Did you read a frog lives here? Look at the picture. Did you read a worm lives here? Look at the picture. Did you read a bee lives here? Do you guys know what the name of where a bee lives is? It's called a beehive, and they make these um, honeycomb that are in the shape of a hexagon. We know that connection from math. Oh, this doesn't look like it's out in nature at all. Can you try to read this page? Did you read a ch ch child lives here? Notice that the ch is working together to say ch ch. A child lives here. Great reading, boys and girls. Good job using that target of visualizing what the page is about. Let's go back to the beginning, and this time I want you to read it on your own. If you get stuck, try those strategies. If the strategies don't help, you can always rewind the video and um, read the page with me again. Remember, our title is What Lives Here. Okay, your turn. Great job, boys and girls. Before we finish up for the day, we're going to take a look at some comprehension questions. Okay, boys and girls, so we're going to answer some comprehension questions. Comprehension tests that you were um, thinking about the story while you were reading and thinking about what the story means. Okay, my first question is, what is the book mostly about? Is it mostly about animals live in many places? Or is it about all animals live in the same place? Hmm. Well, when we read that story, we saw animals living under the sea, underground, in trees, in hives. So we can't say they all live in the same place. So the answer must be A. Animals live in many places. Give them me too if you agree. Question two. Which animal lives in water? The deer or the fish? Fish live in water. Great job. Question three, which animal lives under the ground? The bear or the worm? Worms live underground. Now, earlier we talked about visualizing. So when I saw those worms underground and I saw them digging that hole and making that tunnel, I thought about why worms would want to live underground. And then I remembered that birds eat worms. So I realized that if, if worms are underground, the birds can't get at them and then the worms are safe. So, again, I was visualizing, I was thinking about the story and making pictures in my mind. I was also bringing in information that I already knew. Question four, how is where the child lives the same as where the other animals live in the book? A, the child and the other animals live in a house made of wood, or B, they all live in places that give them what they need. Hmm, do children and animals live in houses made of wood? No, just children do that. Or, do they all live in places that give them what we need? Yes, B is the answer. 
We live in houses because it keeps us warm and dry. Animals live in places that keep them safe and give them food. So the answer is B. Question five. Listen to this sentence. The animal lives here. What does the word here mean? Does here mean in this place? Or does here mean far away? Here means in this place. Great job, boys and girls. It's been so much fun reading with you, and I can't wait to read with you again tomorrow.